he was in Japan, he felt the, the sky is very small, but he only understand that when he, he came to Brazil, because the sky is very big here. Art for us is to see, and for Japanese people, art is to live. Western art now, you have more conceptual art. It's very difficult to put this in, in a canvas. My art is more intimate art. Eu acho que o meu nu ele é discreto. Ele é sutil. Ele não é agressivo. My work is uh, mixed between West and East. If you ask all the artists that are working with us, for example, uh, we ask, are you Japanese or Brazilian? And they say, oh, we are Brazilian. Devo ter uma série de, de características culturais e através dos arquétipos, não é? De todo o Oriente. Mas eu sou brasileiro. I feel in Japan, I feel like Japanese, but I'm not Japanese. I'm Brazilian. I am on a journey through light and shadow. Discovering artists who bring two worlds together, blending cultures that are so different. This is the language of Japanese Brazilians, the essence of what can evolve when Asia and America converge, when West encounters East. E vieram ao Brasil, inicialmente, de uma cultura completamente diferente, é, Oriente e Ocidente. E so for them, when they arrived, especially in Brazil, it was really very difficult. Because Brazil is a place, it's a tropical country. Everything here is strong. It's completely different of Japanese because they are always so calm and so everything you have every gesture and in Brazil everything is big. E depois da guerra, uma vez que o Japão perdeu a guerra, eles então desistiram daquele sonho de voltar para o Japão. Afinal de contas já não tinha mais o seu país, né, que perdeu a guerra. Então, é, aqui acontece a mudança da mentalidade do imigrante. E eles decidem que é aqui no Brasil que vão viver. The well-known sculptor Ryutaka Toyota is the first artist I met on my journey to Brazil. The shiny surfaces of his sculptures reflect a certain mystery, a dream-like feeling. No, no, Toyota. He came when he, he was 26 years old. To Brazil, first he felt a very lightful country, and uh, it's uh, very opposite. Like uh, Japan, is light is different, and that he uh, start to understand the world is very uh, big, and uh, there is a lot of differences, and he started to to think about this world and this uh, the space in the world. Then it was on to meet the master ceramist Megumi Yuasa, who transforms clay into poetry. Eu tenho uma relação todo o meu minha imaginação material se refere ao meu contato com a natureza. He's deeply drawn to trees. Eu fiz mais de duas mil árvores. O atalho mais curto para os devaneios da infância, que não é só de árvore. Se você ir para o trabalho de Takashi Fukushima, Takashi trabalha com luz e sombra. Isso é uma coisa para ele. E eu acho que o trabalho de Takashi é um trabalho muito delicado e muito especial. You have to be 
quiet to appreciate the work of Takashi. Many people ask me if I have Japanese influence. And people say that my work looks like Japanese work. I don't, I don't feel that that looks like Japanese work. For me, it's a Brazilian work. You know? uh, my, uh, the influential of the colors is for the, the colors of Brazil. You know? Brazil is a very, very colorful, colorful country. Strong contrast of black and white, light and shadow, are the themes of Akubo's images. But it's more than that. It is the way the dark works, not against, but with the light, allowing it to reveal the work's message. I gosto muito de sombras. Eu assim adoro o rosto o oculto. É, as linhas, as curvas, né? E eu acho que com a luz eu consigo é, mostrar melhor as curvas, é, as formas, é, as texturas, a pele. O Cubo is well known in Brasília for his body escaping. Although his images often portray harmony, his own story exemplifies the plight of the Japanese in Brazil. Bullying. <laughs> então, assim, desde pequeno, eu tenho esse... É, é, eu sofri muito na escola com, com as brincadeiras, com as pessoas fazendo piadas, cantando músicas. E, assim, é, eu entrava em conflito a respeito da minha história de ser japonês, né? o meu olho ser diferente dos outros. E assim, hoje eu vejo com muita naturalidade, eu acho o amadurecimento, 52 anos de idade, é... eu tenho é orgulho. And then there is Cristina, a Brazilian who embraces Japanese culture through her creativity. The work of Cristina Sá is very interesting because she is not Japanese. Cristina Sá is a perfect fusion of East and Western. Well, I love their rituals. I love their elegance. I love their spirit, their silence, uh, their forms, their colors. And they, they do things, I, I, I think, which much so. The stories of these artists are truly a tale of creativity, struggle, success, and serenity. As I venture across the globe, discovering the far-reaching influence of the Japanese ascetic, I come upon the largest population of Japanese outside of Japan. For these immigrants, art was a way to communicate. Today, it became the fusion of Japanese simplicity mixed with the bright passion of Brazil Join me to watch two very different worlds merge into an artistic encounter between East and West. Mm -hmm.